Good evening, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Call. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. Welcome to our instantly out of the theater review uh, of the pre screening of Fly Me to the Moon, the newest uh, Apollo movie with Channing Tatum and Scarlett Johansson. Yep. Thoughts? <laughs> I, I really liked it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got all the, you know, it's got all the. It, we love all the like nostalgia like Apollo mission movies anyway and it's like it definitely brings you to that time like you know everybody's dressed and the cars and the commercials and um and then and Channing Tatum and Scarlett Johansson have have got some chemistry yeah yeah they do <laughs> yeah they do and Scarlett plays this character advertising character who can sell anything essentially and so there's like multiple times where she uses a different accent or walks differently yeah. or does stuff and it's like damn I forgot how good Scarlet is as, a, as an actress yeah um, because we see her so, we saw her so much as Black Widow which I still want to see more Black Widow I'm not I'm not saying that but uh, she's She's amazing in this movie, and I, I, this is really the first movie back for Channing Tatum. He's done some something else, but he took a long break, uh, and he's really good in this. But he plays a very different character than what you normally see him as, um, and and that's that's actually he did a really good job with it. I think some people are going to find it being one note, but I don't think so. I I, I really thought he was good. Yeah, I think that was kind of the point. Yeah. Um. I mean, he wasn't that way all the time. Um, I will say that the premise of the movie was not quite what you think it is. <laughs> I was going to talk about that, so I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> um, and uh, in in a good way, uh, but it's uh, yeah. I went in thinking it was going to be one thing, and and that's not exactly. It's not. It's. I, I, I'm. This is not a spoil. I I don't care about spoilers for this particular movie, but this is much more of the selling of the Apollo mission. Um, and it also deals with the possible faking of it. And uh, and that's what the trailer gave us, is that they, they faked the moon landing. And, and that is a major part of the story. But this is also the story of how they got the Apollo... St the Apollo mission is done. And that was selling... Omega watches and Tang and Corvettes yeah. and all that stuff. And that's a part of the story that hasn't really been dealt with. Uh, which is why I think I really appreciate what this movie did a lot more than maybe something like Apollo 11 or Apollo 13 or you know, all these other movies that dealt with the astronauts or um, uh, Hidden Figures. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. the, about the, the, the women who did the math to make it all work. This was um, a refreshing take on that story. Yeah. Um, Greg, Berlant Greg Berlanti is the director, and he is the uh, he is the Arrowverse, the Berlanti-verse. Yep. Um, and I really like Greg Berlanti as a creator, and this is a very different style movie than I think we've gotten from him before. It feels very Adam McKay. Yeah. Yeah, it does feel Adam McKay without the... Um, hating whoever it is. Overtly that... hating whatever. <laughs> America, capitalism, yeah. whatever. Yeah. No, yeah. you you leave the movie theater going, yay us. Yay us. We Which did is, it. What? And we did. Yeah. I mean, you know, as 95% of this movie is, is, is fact, um, and the other 5% is unknown. Unknown. There may or may not be aliens. <laughs> Uh, uh, and Woody Harrelson. And Woody Harrelson. I was just gonna say Woody Harrelson is is in that in this movie for like I think maybe a minute of like twelve minutes, ten maybe at the most, uh, something like that. And he possibly steals the movie. <laughs> very um, uh, smoking man. Yeah. Very much the smoking man in yep. this kind of story. Um, I very much appreciate what this movie is. Um, and bringing some, hey, we did that. America did that, and we kind of need that kind of reassurance right now. Um, and and I really appreciate that they um, 
didn't shy away from that. Now, when this movie was made made, we weren't in the political situation that we are right now in the world. And uh, I, I'm really glad that Greg didn't shy away from the Americanism of it. Because it is an American story that just happens to affect the rest of the world. And it's, some people may have stepped away from that story with the political atmosphere that we have in our country right now. And he didn't. And I really appreciate that. Um, it shot amazingly. There's an amazing shot at the end. I don't. We were discussing how they did it. <laughs> um, they use a lot of actual footage from all the pre-stuff, all the pre-flight stuff, the flight itself, the, the landing, the launch, yeah. the yeah. the land. Uh, uh, Walter Cronkite's on screen. One of my favorite things I've ever seen from Walter Cronkite is him taking his glasses off and grinning from ear to ear when they step on the moon. <laughs> um, and so I just, it's a really, really, really well done movie. Uh, and I don't want to hear people complain that we're not getting any original stories. Here's one. Go support it. Yep. Score? Uh, 8.5. 8.5. We're so original around here. <laughs> uh... Go, like I said, go see this. Uh, it comes out officially next week. Yep. We and got our, the, our movie theater was full. And our movie theater, there was very full. So let us know what you thought of our reaction and the discussion uh, in the comments down below. Please be nice. That is a, that is a movie requirement around here. <laughs> uh, fo hit, follow us. Hit the bell for notifications. Hit the like button and follow us on all social media stuff. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links in the description down below. I need a cocktail, apparently. <laughs> and until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night now.